Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and great millstone, Krishna's word, truthfully and sincere. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Krishna's word, truthfully and sincere. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Krishna's word, truthfully and sincere. And I say shalom to y'all out there. And this is another quick sit down lesson on this uh, May the 13th, 2022, uh, 4, 4 19 p.m. Central Standard Time on this Friday afternoon. And this is a news article in the news, you know. And this is from MSN, MS, MSN.com from Newsweek, which was uh, published about three hours ago. And the highlight in this news article that reads uh, NATO. Ukraine troops launch war games as Putin threats Europe. It says Ukraine, Finnish, Swedish, and American troops are among those who will be taking part in Estonia. She, Sheila, meaning the Hedgehog military drill next week. Which will begin, I mean, which will bring together more than 15,000 troops from TIF, from 10 countries as Russian President Vladimir Putin grapples with a was resolute Ukraine and expanding NATO. Tensions between Russia and its Western adversaries spiked again this week with Finland public committing to NATO membership. Sweden is expected to follow suit shortly. Both nations prompt to shed their historical policies and neutrality by Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February. Majority General Vaskov Villa Palm, the deputy of commander of the Estonia Defense Force, brief journalists on Friday on the upcoming exercise, Major General Jeff D. Broadwater, the De Deputy Commander General of the U.S. V Corps, also spoke with reporters about the hit charge and the United States Army-led defender European drill. I mean, Europe drill, it says Lockheed. It says, uh, this exercise will take place simultaneously across nine Europe countries and involving more than 3,400 U.S. and more than 5,000 allies uh, partnering foreign troops and including Swedes. Uh, the brief was held on sideline of the Lin Linear Marine Conference in Tallinn, Estonia, an annual event focused on foreign and security policies issues from Eastern and Northern European prosperities. Next week's uh, hedgehog drill will simulate an attack on Estonia, the enemy presenting Russia and analysts. I mean, uh, and analyze the ability of the local NATO and other international partner forces to respond, improve intro ability, intro operability, let's say, and communication between the multilateral allied force commander said are key goals. Palms confirmed that the hit job will include a small number of Ukraine and Georgia. Georgian troops, both non-NATO members and European units, experts who in recent years have been victims of Russian aggression. The ability of both countries to join NATO in key Russian urgencies and Ukraine's exclusions from the transatlantic alliance remains one of Moscow's foremost demands for any negotiated peace to end the ongoing war. I will, it says, I will 
like not to go into details, but we are talking about a few people, not tens or hundreds of people. On to new week, news weekly. When asked how many Ukrainian and Jordanians personnel will participate in the drill, but well, of these countries have been participating for years, especially during this exercise. Normally, they want to participate in the head child to better understand the NATO approach, NATO decision making. It says nothing plays the real deal. You can uh, read the manual. You will need exercise and practice that this is really a good experience, even though they are in war and we are actively in contact with them and helping them. They still have their training programs and they still educate their officers and non-commissioning officers on added of the Ukraine taking part. Hedgehog and Defender Drill were planned before Russian invasion of Ukraine. Palm said Hedgehog remains a largely unaffected by the ongoing war, though note some notions she's have developed given the international situation. We have been planning for this exercise for years. The scale of um uh, the scale of aims <coughs> the scale of aims the main uh, exercise objectives have been unchanged that have been the same more than a year he said but of course there are certain small unices that have changed indefinitely that were more than allies originally were uh, planned Palm was referring to the British lead NATO pre uh, presence in the uh, country where it was expanded February and the many concerns around Russia's military buildup around Ukraine. So that was definitely unexpected, but very good. Palm um, said very good problems to deal with. It says uh, Russian personnel, Palm said, will not be attending the 2022 headshot drills as a reserve as they have done for the past iterations of the war games. <coughs> so lock it. We have notice the international community of the exercise poem says but we will not have allowed russian observers for this exercise the estonia commander noted that russian troops are based within 40 miles of the exercise locations in southern estonia across the border to the east these units have claimed they have been badly weakened by the father in ukraine so yeah, I'm not gonna get all much into it. It's a long read. So you know that goes to show you what the increase. You know, just like I've been mentioning before, and in going into these uh, topics and relates to uh, warlike tactic. You know, of the wars and rumors of wars increasingly. You know. Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 1 in verse 1 in the book of Ezekiel and the word of the Lord came and said son of man set thy face against God in the land of Magog and the chief priests of Meshach and Tubal and prophesied against him and saith the Lord God behold I am against thee O God and the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and I will turn thee back and to put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in all them armies and horses and horsemen and all them that clothe with all sorts of armor, even in a great company with bucklers and shields, and all of them that handle swords. 
Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya. And with all of them with shields and helmets, Gomer and all his bands in the house of Togmar of the North Quarters, and all his bands and many people with the be thou prepared and prepare for thyself thou and all them companies that are assembled unto thee and be thou in the guard unto them so yeah you know you know the heavenly father is going to stir up these russians that's why he's seeing these uh russians uh pleasure and vladimir putin you know admitting amid the uh the uh warning that uh you know the warning and the consequences of Vladimir Putin even though it might be a rumor you know that's why it says you're gonna hear wars and rumors of wars increasing in the last days as the Holy Scripture saying you know even though the Heavenly Father is still gonna stir up these uh Russians you know and uh just like uh President Vladimir Putin made that statement that you know he made a a, a warning to the uh uh, Finland and Sweden about them joining NATO, you know, then you got this uh, exercises that's coming up calling uh, Hedgehog uh, 2022, which is going to begin next week, and then you got the uh, United States and the Estonian troops, and you got uh, 9 to 10 different military groups of uh, different, uh, 9 to 10 different countries, you know, so that's stirring up, you know, that's why I've been mentioning in my previous videos that mention that the increase of uh, these joint exercise drills, these military drills, these uh, simulation wars and war games, you know, even though they say these might be just practices, you know, these are uh, showing signs that, you know, they are definitely gearing up, preparing for World War Three. you know. Especially like, you know, uh, Russia had uh, uh, still got the animosity towards these uh, Western countries, you know, with the, uh, you know, with NATO and the United States and the uh, Western countries, you know, Russia still against them, you know, and along with Russia allies as well, too, you know, so. That shows you signs more of increase of uh, the Heavenly Father is going to stir up the Russians. You know, he's going to stir up the Medes, you know, uh, Gog and Magog, you know, stir up the Russians and the Medes, you know. He's going to stir up the Iranians as well, too, you know. But, you know, that's for another topic. But this is the main focusing on, you know, this uh, military joint exercise drill has been stirring up. You know, the Heavenly Father is definitely going to stir up those Russians, you know, in the times ahead that we are living in, because it's furthermore building up more and more, you know. And I'm bring out another scripture as well, too. As the usual scripture that I always bring out. As I always been bringing out lately, you know. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, right? Just like those joint military exercise drills of that news article that I just brought out that they're gonna have a uh, military drill. in that region over there, you know, there's gonna be, it's called a uh, military hitchhop, military drill for 2022. United States, they gonna be involved in it with these uh, different Euro European countries and part in, in Estonia. And I believe it's non, it's gonna be non uh, NATO members that's gonna be involved in it as well too. And I believe they say it's going to be a total of 15,000 soldiers that's going to be training in this uh, Hedgehog military exercise drills was coming up next week. And I believe they said wh where it's going to take place is, is going to be like 40 miles uh, away from the uh, 
from the Russian border, I believe. That's what the exercise drill is gonna take place in. So yeah, you know, these are wars and rumors of wars is being continually built up, like I mentioned before. With the uh, that's all you've been seeing throughout the whole year of the year of uh, last year, during the whole year uh, 2021. You've been seeing these nations uh, gearing up, preparing for war. These uh, missile launch tests, you know, creating nuclear arsenals. You know, these nations uh, gearing up, preparing for war, even if it's just uh, a military exercise training, you know, joint exercise Navy drills. So that shows you more of uh, more and more and more signs of these nations are definitely gearing up, preparing for war, just in case if anything goes down. And it is going to happen, you know, because they've been prophesied for these things to happen, you know. And these military buildups are going to continue to increase more and more, even if it is just military exercises, uh, military simulation drills. You know, these are the... Uh, the progression and the processes that's built up to uh, World War III. And we are getting into those stages, you know. Even though tensions might calm down, but it's gonna furthermore increase. And these nations um, gonna continue to enhance furthermore their nuclear arsenal and their nuclear capability and in their military might and strength as well too. That's why you've been seeing these all these military uh, joint exercise drills, you know. And this is the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 6. And ye should hear of wars and rumors of wars that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet. In verse 7, for nations shall rise against nations and kingdom against kingdoms. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes and diverse places. In uh, verse 8, in the book of Matthews, 24 verse 8, in verse 8, in the book of Matthews, it reads through all the scriptures. And these are the beginning of sorrows, right? Because we are entering those stages of beginning of sorrows. Like I mentioned in my previous videos, you know, because you start to hear these uh, things that's going in the news on an everyday basis and relates to uh, warlike tactics, you know, warlike uh, things of matter, you know. So it's going to furthermore increase, increase, increase in the last days. Because, you know, we are living in uh, biblical prophecy times, you know. And so with that, matter of fact, I'm going to bring out the wars and rumors of wars as well, too. you know, these uh, Western countries, you know, and these other allies that's with NATO and everything like that. You know, Russia is gonna continue to have that animosity towards the United States, you know, and these Western allies as well too, you know. <coughs> you know, and these uh, military drills is, is right on point amending the uh, tensions with the Russia-Ukraine thing and Russia's uh, adversaries, which is the United States and the Western allies as well, too. You know, this goes right into to the point that's these current situations and conflicts that's going on and the increase of the wars and rumors of wars and the increase of the nations arise against nations, you know. That's why they're having these uh, joint exercise military drills, you know. 
and uh, 15,000 soldiers gonna be there to be equipped to uh, do these uh, military drills, you know, over there in, in, in Estonia, you know, which is Eastern European country, you know. I'm gonna have like nine to 10 different uh, countries that are military soldiers. They all gonna be trained over there in that region, you know. They, they not gonna be not like 40 miles away from the, uh, the uh, Russian border. So they're gonna be training kind of close distance from, you know, what the current situation going on in Russia, Ukraine, you know? They're gonna be training over there, you know? So these the uh, the furthermore steps of uh, we're entering of uh, World War Three, And it's furthermore increasing by the days and the months, you know? Especially by the days how the way these news articles be coming out, you know, especially this uh, alternative news around the world, you know, not just on your not just on your local news, but these alternative news around the world, you're seeing these increases of those of these uh, wars and rumors of wars, as the scriptures has said it, you know, and it's gonna furthermore increase. Like I mentioned in my previous videos, you know, that's why I've been on this topic more and more and more now, you know, because the increase of these wars and rumors of wars is definitely increasing, you know. And it's going to further increase definitely more and more, you know, about it, uh, in the days that we are living in. And this is, I'm going to use this scripture right here, then I'm going to close out this lesson. And uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14. And this is verse 14 in the book of Revelations, in the Holy Scriptures and the Reads. The second world was passed, and behold, the third world coming quickly, right? Because the second world passed already. Now we are entering the times of a uh, third world coming quickly. Of uh, these nations are uh, gearing up, preparing for war. As these nations are gearing up and fully trained and getting into that point of World War Three, you know, that's why the third world coming quickly. You know, because we are definitely entering in those times, you know. And so with that, you know, I hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out one to the Aka, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out one to the Aka, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shout out one in the ball.